In this video, I'm going to show you how to map the coils in your machines so that your sales reports show the actual coil IDs or the names of products for each sale. Column maps are useful to help you monitor inventory levels and they show you which products are selling in your machines. In order to perform this task, you need to be an authorized signer and have administrator privileges in Seed Live. To begin, we need to click the Configuration tab and click Column Maps in the menu. One of the big reasons column maps are beneficial is that machines generally send four-digit MDB codes to represent the coils the customer sees in the machine. These codes don't always line up precisely with the coil numbers, so in order to send coil numbers to your reports, we need to apply a column map to each machine. So let's look at an example of a machine for which we have prepared a column map for you to use. For this machine, we can see that the machine would report the first coil as 0001, and the coil the customer sees is actually A1. If you were using this type of machine, you would link the serial number of the device to this template, and your reports going forward would show A1 for sales of products in that first coil, instead of 0001. Now, as you begin to apply maps, you need to be careful that you are applying the correct template to each device. Be sure you know the make and model of the machine in which the device is installed before you apply the map. Applying the wrong map can have rather unpleasant consequences, namely that your sales reports would show the wrong prices being charged for the wrong product. As you can see, there are many models of vending machines in the list of map templates. If you're using any of these models for which you need a column map, applying the template is pretty easy. However, you may have a machine in use for which we have not already created a map. For this situation, you'll need to create a custom map. The first step in this process, then, will be to go to the machine and vend a product from every coil in order. You would then come back to see live on your computer, run a sales report for the machine, and see what numbers the machine reported for each coil. I would recommend exporting the report to an Excel spreadsheet so you can easily build your map with the coil numbers. You will also need to know the numbers of your coils in order to match them with the machine IDs. So if you're away from the machine when you create the map, I would get a picture in front of the machine with all the coils showing so you can use the image as a reference as you build the map. Next, place your cursor in this column map content pane and begin typing in the coil numbers with the corresponding IDs, one line per coil as you see here. When you're finished adding in all the coils, you'll want to name your map in this field and then click Save New. If you create a map that happens to be very similar or exactly the same as an existing map, Seed Live will give you this warning here and will tell you which map is the same. You may want to check the existing map to see if it is new. Otherwise, you can either click this button to select the recommended map or you can check this Force to Save box and click Save New. The new map will then be listed here. Notice your new map entry is labeled Customer. Any new maps you create will be listed here, and only you can see those. The maps marked Global are those which everyone can see on the site. Now that the map has been created, we need to assign the map to the machine. We'll go back to the top of the column map window and use the Unmap Device Serial pane to search for the machine. If you know the serial number of the device in the machine you want to map, you can enter it in this field and click Search. Otherwise, just click the Search button and you'll see all your devices listed here. We will search by a single device number. When you've found the device in the right machine, click the Device line, click the Map line below, and click the Apply Template button here. We can now see the device listed here in the Map Device pane. You can also search in this pane for devices already mapped. The same search process applies here. You can enter a serial number in this field and click Search, or click Search to see all your mapped devices. Now, if you ever move a device to a different machine, it will need to be remapped. However, you'll need to remove the template on it first. To do that, you would find the device in the list and click the Remove Template button. When you do that, the device number will return to the unmapped device list. Now, there's one more thing I need to show you before we close. Remember I said at the beginning of the video that with column mapping, you can see the products that are selling in your machines. Well, you can add product names to your column map to enable you to do just that. Here's how it's done. First, you pull up the map for the machine you want to edit and select the entire map by dragging your mouse over it, then right-click and select Copy. Then click the Add New button, right-click in the pane, and select Paste. From here, all you do is simply add the product name in your machine to each line. 
Obviously, you need to know which product is in each coil before you begin adding the names to the template. Now you can either add the product name after the coil number, or if you prefer, you can replace the coil number with the product name only. We recommend you leave the coil number in the template though, because for certain reports, it will be beneficial to have the coil number show up with the product name. It's entirely up to you, however, how you want to set up your template. When you're finished adding all the products, enter a name for the new template and click Save New. Again, your new template will show up here as a customer template. And then it's just a matter of assigning the template to the device using the procedure I showed you earlier. Once the template has been assigned, you will begin seeing the coil numbers and or product names in your sales reports going forward. And that concludes this video.